You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. This is such a meaningful game in the hunt for a postseason spot. And we may see some lockdown coverage from this fella as he tries to prevent any big passing plays from hurting their playoff aspirations. It's the Eagles going up against the Panthers. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. Carry for LeGarrette Blunt. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. And there are the numbers a week ago for LeGarrette Blunt. 25 carries, 86 yards. And he's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try and find some people open downfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Philadelphia first down wins finding Matthews. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Offside. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Wentz going to give this one to Blunt. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. And just a yard on the pickup there. It'll be second and four. Come and get a little jangly up there before that last play call. And then once it happened, I was like, oh because it feels like almost a missed golden opportunity to take a shot in that position. You think first and five, maybe you go for a little more than a short run? Almost a free down. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Falcons. Devontae Freeman, a first quarter touchdown there. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Charles Johnson in there to get him, and that's sack number 18 for him on the year. And they'll go Wentz to Blunt here. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They needed 18 yards, and that's exactly what they got. And by the nose of the football, it's a first. 
play fake to Blunt. Now it's Wentz. And some space here. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the first down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some room to run now. 20! And he takes it all the way down to the three. It's a big play there for the Eagles. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken about the 12. <laughs> up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I've played with to have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Yeah, absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team was saying, hey, yeah, we called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Got some real estate inside the 30. Touchdown! Philadelphia. LeGarrette Blunt with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence offense. in him, and let him fling another one. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Shotgun now for Wentz. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Wentz to throw on second down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. LeGarrette Blunt was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second down, here's Wentz. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for Panther touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play, a pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with the ampersand? I like it. Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Finding some room at midfield. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And Matthews over the middle with a grab. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Wentz now on first down. And this is hauled in by Matthews. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Jordan Matthews in the final seconds of the first half. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be taken about the 12. Oh, good move. They find some open field here. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags, and it's a kickoff return to end the first half. Yes, sir. NFL update, yes, sir. Let's get it, baby. And it's the NFC champs, the Falcons, that have moved down to an early Let's finish. go. Devontae Freeman closing in on 100 yards on the <clears throat> That's how we do it. That's how you do it. And flop in the end zone. That's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Both teams oh, appear man, ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Let's go offense. Can we get something going here, run out the clock or something? Let's go, man. Skip because I'm ready to get to. So can I get another? Uh, so here are the pit Eagles six, now as they uh, get set for their first fumble. possession of the second so half. Get something. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense though to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. 
try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Here's Blunt. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> now Wentz on third down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. This is taken at the 10. Checking the NFL scoreboard there in the third at MetLife Stadium. And it's the Jets who are leading in that one. Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm going to skip it because y'all know I could have ran that back, right? Y'all know that, right? <clears throat> Why didn't you? I don't know. He, he, he was smart to go back. Just to put it that way, he was smart to go back. Some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule. That if someone does it to them, you won't hear people protest out of them. That's just who they are. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it. They need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game. But this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time? Hopefully with a chance to win. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Wentz now giving the blunt on the draw. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. And he's going <clears> to <throat> intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 21. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Second to six. We're going to have a timeout called here by the offense as they'll get together on the sideline and talk this one over. Charles, we've seen them target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times. <coughs> it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped. Let's go, baby. That's how we do it. Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Time for a break. Let's get that two minutes left, guys. All over but the shouting. Um, we'll finish it after this. Get back to the game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the gun, it's Wins. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. 
And Eagle first down wins to Ertz. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. You didn't even know. I just Great thought you were getting a first down. Just about throwing line, that ball like that, bro. A little bit too much trying to get it out <coughs> to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Play action. Now wins. Now a desperation throw deep to, And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down. 22-yard line. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Wins to throw again. And this is Selick here with a grab. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw Where are you going? Tight coverage. You see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Huh? Well, the pressure, the hits, the where? sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised oh. that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Torrey Smith, his fourth touchdown. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. Well, y'all know what that means. We're going to walk out of here with a W. So we took these boys out of the game, and now and we get a chance like the to hands team does its job. We get a chance to at least be in a division lead kick. now and get out the wild card. Knew, right? Even before they put the, the toe to the left. So let's go. So if y'all like the video, please hit the like score now from Tampa and the Giants <coughs> have taken the lead there late in that game Eli Manning a couple of touchdowns. Well, we're gonna say y'all like the video if you hit like Philadelphia video button but hey going on offense the game still is over when they were out they scored still trailing here though so some work to do how he threw that over my head bro y'all seen that bro like that was crazy that was crazy how you just Jordan scored over my head that was crazy bro with his second touchdown of the game I ain't want to see you dance, bro. That was crazy. So time definitely that should have been a pick, favor. bro. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. That should have been a pick, bro. And Carolina should have ran out the time, too. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. The risk but anyway, like I said, if y'all like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because this game is over now for sure. There we go. And I'll be back with you with another video. See you.